All right. So next we have um, Matt Morris. Is Matt here? Yeah. Matt, good afternoon. Um, so your submission is on the climate change strategy. Yeah, it is. And um, you've got three minutes to present to us this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks very much. It's, uh, it's great to be here. And I just want to say first thanks for the work that's gone into developing this, uh, this climate, strain, climate change strategy. All cities need to be addressing this issue. And it's great to see that Christchurch City Council has made a start. Um, it's an issue that is of critical importance to uh, the University of Canterbury's uh, management team, to our staff, and of course, to our students. And I just want to say that this um, submission is on behalf of the university's sustainability office and has also been tabled uh, in front of our senior management team. So generally we support the four goals that have been outlined, although we do think that probably really it's two. One of them is around uh, managing and, and reducing climate um, you know, carbon emissions, and the second one is around ad adapting to inevitable climate change, and perhaps goals three and four really are, are part of that second goal. Um, we also support the 10 programs of work that you've outlined, um, and there's a lot more detail about the nature of, of our thinking on that um, in the written submission. But I do just want to add that we think perhaps more attention could be made to the role of education and particularly around behaviour change programmes because, you know, without behaviour change programmes, people are not going to change and we're not going to get the change required um, to meet the targets that you've outlined. And I know that behaviour change programmes are notoriously difficult and expensive, but they really need to be done. Um, in addition, we think there could be more attention to well-being. You know, this isn't climate change is going to affect the people of Christchurch in massive ways, as you know. Um, I'm speaking as somebody who lives out in the east. Um, so there are, of course, financial stresses coming our way. There are um, emotional and mental health um, issues coming our way as well, related to climate change, and this needs to be highlighted more in the strategy. Um, on infrastructure, by the way, we support the comments of our colleague about tariffs. We think it's you're on a hiding to nowhere with this, and um, and it's very difficult to see how this would support um, any climate, uh, any carbon reduction programs that you may have. But importantly, most importantly, the strategy seems to lack um, specific targets beyond the highest level ones. Um, it lacks accountabilities. Who's going to do these pieces of work? It lacks time frames and it lacks any comment about resourcing, which are all the components that you would expect in a strategy of this kind. So we want it to be much bolder and we think that it has to be if you're going to meet the, uh, you know, rise to the challenge of the climate emergency that Christchurch City Council uh, declared last year. I just want to reaffirm our offers of support. Uh, around offering, you know, expert uh, advice if you would like that, and we'd definitely like to be part of any climate coalition that is established or similar. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much indeed um, for coming along and speaking to the submission this afternoon. That does bring us to the end of the um, three minutes, so it doesn't allow time for questions, but thanks very much for the time taken this afternoon. Now, 